the lock and unlock feature inside of the NetSupport client. So first I am going to, I want to lock all of the students in a particular class's device. And what this means is this means that the students will not be able to access any websites or access any apps on the device. So right now I'm just going to click the lock feature. And once I do so in the top right corner, you can see that a lock will appear on the student's device. And this is the view in which they will have until you unlock the device for them. So from here, I'm just going to select the unlock feature and it may take a second in order to take place. But once it does, you can see that it goes back to when they were originally uh, back to the views that were originally there. I can also access specific students. So I'm gonna access demo student one and select the lock feature. So if I only have one student that I would like to lock their device for a particular time, I can do that as well. I also will say that I'm gonna go ahead and unlock demo student one. I also want to say that in order to unlock student devices, you can use this icon here for unlock or you can also use the refresh tab, which is over here to the left. So I have locked Demo Student 1's uh, device again. And when I select refresh, a refresh takes that lock away from that particular student or the class. This helps in the sense that if a class is not dismissed and they are locked per se, that if they go to another classroom or another teacher, that their, their device will refresh and they will have access to it. So that is the lock and unlock feature within NetSupport.